This is One on One. There he is on camera, Greg Carenda. He's the head coach of Fairleigh Dickinson University men's basketball team, and they are called the what? The Knights. The Knights. The Knights. The, the, what do you look, look at you pointing over here? By the way, here it is. It's FDU, <laughs> and because this is PBS, no disrespect. You got to put it on. Not, it's okay. Can, Patty, could you take this? We cannot plug. We well, don't we, plug. We got, the, we got the plug in, but that's it. We now, are the FDU Knights at, in Hackensack and Teaneck campus. You took over 2013. Yes, I did. And you guys went to the dance, the big dance yes. of 64. In when? 2016 was the first time. It was my third year. We had the third youngest team in America, and, and Steve, it kind of came out of nowhere. The previous year, we lost 15 straight basketball games. 15. Um, but we had good players, good young kids. We were changing the culture, um, and then we won it. And we went to Dayton, Ohio. Uh, and played Florida Gulf Coast, and it didn't go well. And we lost our first round, and our goal was to get back. And we just got back in 2019, and we got to Dayton and won a game. And it was his first uh, victory in the school's history in the NCAA tournament. And, and here I sit, a very lucky, lucky man, a lucky coach. For those who have never experienced the NCAA tournament other than being fans. And yes. Uh, uh, we're Seton Hall fans. I just need to disclose that. True. I know you know that. And you True. have a connection to Seton Hall? Yeah, I was an assistant there for, for three years. For the great George Blaney. The, 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 the legendary George Blaney. And I hired uh, Grant Bill Meyer, who's the assistant now for Kevin. That's right. And Bruce Hamburger is my associate head coach. So there's, you got there's a some lineage. There. So here's the thing. For those yes. of us who don't really know, how exciting is it being at the Yes. It's, it's more than you think. It is? It's not? No, it's it, more. It's more than what you think it's it is. It's more. It's more because uh, because you work your whole life, and and for that moment, and they talk about the one shining moment, and it's not only the team that wins it; it's for every player that participates, and every fan that follows, and every coach that dreams. Uh, and you just can't sleep; you can't because you're in an elite group, and. Uh, it's just very exciting. It's rewarding. It's exciting. It's, it's Let's so put it in perspective. Sorry for interrupting. Uh, 64 yeah. teams. How many teams in the country play? Well, it's actually 64 60 teams plus the f first four yes. that are in. So I it's got 68. 68. Go ahead. And there's just about 366. So, yeah, so it's, it's, it's not, not easy. They don't hand it to you. No. That's for sure. And especially <clears> when I took over the program at Fairleigh Dickinson, uh, it wasn't in the best stead in um, its work. And it's the, the time that you put in and, and the, the greatest thing, Steve, to be honest with you, that makes it euphoric for a coach is seeing the players enjoy it. Because these kids, man, I've got the greatest kids in the world and they are so deserving. They work so hard. And when they're happy and their families are happy and our fans and our president, our athletic director, it's a team. And uh, we, we had a great team this year and we have a great program uh, and we have success uh, looking forward as well I hope I'm a student of leadership yes sports and leadership connection yes. is oh, you, you got to walk the walk uh, you know you have to be in there with these guys and they have to believe and I've co I played high school basketball uh, at St. Peter's prep I know you're a Seton Hall prep we have a lot of like <laughs> connections a lot of connections a little a rivalry, some, some yeah. rivalries too I was but an SS Catholic guy back in the day our school's closed now how yes. good was SS Catholic in a parochial A? Oh, my God. Real, How good? Very Tremendous. good. Very good. But leadership is, is doing, it's being, it's, and it's a connection. Now you need to have a connection with your players. When I grew up, my coaches hollered at us and really? screamed Really? I can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> and now you have to control and you have to. Yes, you do. But it you, has to no, be, you can't go old school on these no, kids. No, no. But it has to be real. Look at your hugging kids right there. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's Nadi Basiri, and and he played two minutes in, in the NCAA tournament game, and and he just got offered a, a big time business job wow. just before we, this taping. I found out, so it's it's way more than uh, basketball. It's it's life, and there, and when you have a connection with people, the synergy between my, myself and my players and my staff and our alums and the university. And it capsulizes in the tournament, but it's, it, it, it lasts forever. We have a player that just got um, signed for the Utah Jazz to play in their summer league. He came to me uh, as a 17-year-old young man that had no scholarships and averaged four points 
uh, a game as a freshman, and now he's with the Utah Jazz, throwing L.A. What's that do for you? So it, 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 it says what we're doing the right things. I have good assistants. We, we, we recruit the right players, and we do it the right way. And that's why, you know, sometimes people watch college basketball and, and we don't have the greatest light right now as basketball coaches because things have Stuff transpired. Happens. And ethics matter. But, but, and how you play the game matters. And some of your colleagues don't play the game the right way. I really think it's a small, minute group. I really do. The coaches that I see on the road and that I've worked with and that I've hired, we do it the old-fashioned way. We just go out and we get good players. Uh, and a we, lot of them from New Jersey? Most of, most of them. I hired Dwayne Lee from St. Anthony's and Bruce from um, Seton Hall and there's New Jersey. Mike Fratello's been in our gym. Uh, you know, Mike O'Corn lives up the street. Kerry Kittles. Wait, wait, who played Mike O'Corn? I'll tell you what, you're bringing me back. Yes. These are guys who play well, from old. I'm old. In the Jersey City days. Yes. Right? Yes. They played at Hudson Catholic. Yes. I remember these guys. Yeah, you're good. So how about this? April 2018, you're at the Final Four of San Antonio, Texas. What happens? Wow. Uh, I'm walking with my son. who we, I've taken him now for a long time, over a decade, and I could, couldn't walk any longer. My leg sw sw was swollen, had pain, and I tried to continue to walk on the river walk, and uh, I couldn't do it. And my wife wanted to go to the hospital, and I said, let me just elevate it, and, you know, in the morning we'll figure it out. In the morning it was bigger, um, and uh, we were lucky to go to... Uh, Methodist uh, Metropolitan Hospital, where Greg Silas, the CEO and of the hospital, came and visited me every day. But I had two major blood clots, one on my thigh and one on my abdomen, um, and they couldn't put a stent above it to keep it from going to my lungs or my heart or my brain, and it was scary. Do you know if you were going to live or die? I didn't want to die in Texas. <laughs> I've told this to people before. Don't, don't I wanted that. to get. No, we're not seeing in Texas, but don't say that. I, want, no, I love Texas. I love it, but I wanted to get. I, I wasn't sure. I, when, and when you're laying there and you have 104.5 fever, and the one time that I was worried was my blood pressure dropped really low. And I thought it was something was wrong with the machine. And the, she said, Well, how do you feel, the nurse? And I'm, she said, Sit up a little bit. And I tried to sit up. And. If I was standing up, I would have fell down. So I was, uh, but I got tremendous care um, from all, from coaches, from my staff, but from my players, but my wife and my son were there behind. They, How they long was that rehab? Me. Several months? It was a six-month rehab, and oh, still boy. to this day, I'm still, you know, work, you have to, you know, you have to work at it. Does the, let me ask you this, that health care like that, winning that game, in the yeah, tournament, right? A year later, right? No, it's well, no. I know. I was just. The, the, I'll never forget, Steve. The Michigan Villanova championship game was on in my room. That's when I was in intensive care, and I couldn't watch it. So if you think back, I couldn't even watch a game, and then to the next year to win a game in the tournament that I couldn't watch. There's there's a, a guardian angel uh, looking over me and my mother. It was my best friend, uh, my best friend, and I was quoted as uh, in, in, in my commencement address as saying her famous words were, always ring the doorbell with your elbows, and that's why I brought at, you a at hat. At FDU you did that. I'm sorry. At I FDU. Stepped on that. That's okay. What'd you say again? Always ring the doorbell with your elbows. So when I came here today, I brought you that hat, and I, I when I go to the tournament, I've, you've got to bring something in life. There are too many... There are too many takers and not enough givers. And my mother was a giver, and I try to just be a little bit like her and my dad. And, and I think it rubs off on my players. Greg Arenda is the head coach at Fairleigh Dickinson University's men's basketball program. Number one, good health. Number two, good luck next year. Yes. We're still going to be rooting for the Pirates. I know, man. That's all right. <laughs> I appreciate it. Steve, thanks for Thank having you, me. Thank you, my friend. Pleasure. All the best. Pleasure. Thank this you. is Steve Adubato. That is Greg Herenda. This is One on One. Be right back. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 30 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by Investors Bank. The Turrell Fund, supporting right from the start NJ. The Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. Choose New Jersey. The Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. Community Food Bank of New Jersey. And by University Hospital, Newark, New Jersey. Promotional support provided by ROINJ.
and by New Jersey Globe. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.